Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a haul. I got these items a while ago um, but I didn't really think about doing a haul until now. Um, I ordered quite a few items from Sleek which if you haven't heard is a cosmetics brand I believe over in the UK. And so that's why I actually ended up wanting to do this haul uh, slash mini reviews on the stuff that I've used because it's not a brand that we can get easily over here in the States so it can be kind of scary ordering something that you don't really know anything about. Um, but I am totally up for that challenge so I ordered some stuff when they were having a 20% off from Mother's Day sale. So um, let's just get started and if I get through this quick enough I might do a part two with some stuff I bought with my 20% coupon at Ulta. We'll see. If you're interested make sure to comment down below um, and I'll see if I can get that up for you guys. Um, yeah, so first thing I bought a um, foundation. They sell a lot of foundation samples um, where you can buy like this set of lights or this set of darks or whatever to find your right shade and they're cheap. They're like four bucks I think. Liquid foundation and I kind of already tore into it but it comes like this. I'm not sure how well you can see but this is the light and they're all very, very brown toned. Um, so I'm not really sure who I'm going to use these on, if I'm going to use them. Um, but that's the nice thing, they were cheap so I don't have to totally freak out about it. Another one that I bought, and this one I did buy for my kit, is um, creamed powder tester kits in, I, this is medium, this is medium ladies and gentlemen. So if you are ordering online, definitely get lower than you think because this right here is the medium tester kit. Yeah. Um, this is the light tester kit. And this is the fair to light tester kit. And I've tried this and I gotta say I hate it. Um, basically I'm gonna maybe use these for like cream contouring. It is so dry and you know, it since it's creamed powder, it goes all powdery and ugh, hated it. Would not buy this. But that's just my opinion. I do have dry skin, but ugh. Let's talk about something that's awesome. So I got the Pout Polish in Raspberry Rhapsody. And it looks like this. And it has actually good pigmentation for a balm. So that's me kind of rubbing my finger in it and you get color out of it. The color actually stays around too once it kind of wears off the glossiness. It's really nourishing. It's got a lot of really good oils in it. Um, jojoba oil, it's got shea butter, sweet almond, avocado oil, um, wheat germ oil. It smells like vanilla and it's one of the nicest feeling things I've ever used on my lips. Um, it doesn't feel ointmenty, it just feels like you're rubbing these wonderful nourishing oils on your lips and I think I'm probably gonna like go back and buy all of them. I know they won't all be as pigmented as this dark color but I absolutely loved this. Next thing I got which I also love, pout polish. I wanted to get the whole damn line but I refrained and I got these three colors. I got white for mixing and for costume looks. I got this fun little pink which mixed with the white will make nice toned down pinks. And then I got what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And in case anybody's wondering, this is Port that I have on right now. This bright pink one is called Pinkini. I'll swatch it for you real quick. These are a lot like the OCC Lip Tars where just like the smallest little dab and you're good to go. Um, I would say they are like half a step down in pigmentation but I think that's a good thing because it doesn't end up totally overboard. Um, I really like them. They're more affordable than um, lip tars. The white itself is very opaque. Um, if you wanted to have white lips you could do it. It's, it's like white out. So. 
I got those three and when I go back to order more pout polish I will probably order the rest of those just because I feel like they're a really good alternative to lip tars. Like I said they're easier to work with, um, they don't feel as drying, and they're cheaper. So the last lip product I got was a fail. So two wins and a fail, not bad. Um, I bought two lipstick palettes. The first one I got is Siren, and it is kind of reds, oranges. So these are the four colors. Um, they're very dry. Like these three right here, they're really dry. And then this one is nice and glossy, but they're really dry. Um, you know, if you don't exfoliate, it's going to be a mess. You know, you're probably going to want to have some chapstick candy. So. I don't really, unfortunately, I can't really recommend these palettes. I will show you the other one though, just to show it to you. However, I mean, good pigmentation. This is after makeup wipe, you know. So that was Siren. The other one I have is so pretty. I wish it wasn't so dry. This one's called Ballet. See how pretty that is? And don't you see again how it's like three hard ones and then one really soft one? I don't know why it's like that. So there are those four colors. They're so pretty. I wish the texture was better. Ugh, I'm gonna make it work though because these colors are so gorgeous. I love those colors. So this one is ballet. And lastly, what probably besides the eyeshadows everybody hears about the most, blush. I have the blush by 3 in pumpkin. It's got a true orange, a kind of shimmery pink, and a shimmery kind of toasty red color. Here are them swatched on my fingers. Here they are swatched on my arm in a very awkward place. As you can see, super pigmented. Um, very, very pigmented. I've worn this um, rusty color, this um, kind of rusty coral. And with a light hand, it's very nice. The pink is just a good average color. And I think the orange is going to be really fun in the summer, especially on tan skin. So that is my sleek haul. I um, hope you, maybe if you're interested in trying it out, maybe I help kind of steer you towards some good products and away from some not so good products. Um, yeah, but I definitely recommend you check them out. They're pretty drugstore range price. And yeah. That's all I got for you now, so I will probably be filming my Ulta haul, and I will see you in that video. Bye.